Hey guys, it's your boy, Deep Dog Proletarian, today with another normal video again after a few weeks of shit posts and interviews, which most of you probably very much enjoyed, I hope. <laughs> So today we're talking about the message that came out yesterday, which is that Silksong won't be at E3, or that we at least won't have any news on E3, any presentations or stuff. It, many people have speculated with this kind of tinfoil hat atmosphere of, hey, maybe they're just lying to us, or maybe they're just not saying they're going to reveal anything, but Nintendo is going to reveal anything, and uh, I don't think that is to be true. I think Leth was pretty much honest in his message and very straightforward with, with we have no news or Team Cherry has no news plan for E3 so there won't be any news. If I am incorrect and Nintendo is going to show a trailer or something and they have lied to us, I don't see what that kind of a point was then. I don't know why Leth would then do that but I don't know, maybe it's just a very clever marketing trick, but I, I do believe that there are not going to be any news for Silk Song at E3. And today I'm just going to discuss maybe the slight consequences or maybe even the idea or motive behind it, because this whole kind of message has spawned a bit of a controversy in the community of Leth is, go is, if, is Leth always going to deconfirm our suspicions about Silk Song coming at a new event? Is Leth always going to say on Twitter or on Discord, hey guys, just so you know, at this next big gaming event there's going to be no silk song is this just going to happen for the free is this maybe preparing something else that's coming in the next few weeks or after e free who knows we don't know yet but why would they possibly not show anything at e free well there's a few possibilities as far as i see one which is the most obvious is that the game is just not finished yet the game is just not done they have a lot more stuff to add maybe a lot more things to polish and so they are not feeling themselves very ready to present a game that is not finished or in its finished state. It seems that from the screenshots that we got both from the Edge magazine and from other parts, maybe even from the riddles, that most people would probably say that it looks very much finished, but if we go by this message, then the release could still go into 2022. Uh, 2022? Yeah, that's. I think that's correct. <laughs> so it's definitely more of a, maybe more of a delay. Maybe it's showing more of a kind of sort of, hey guys, just so you know, we're not really finished. We still have a lot to do. Uh, we want to prepare a lot of stuff. And so don't get your hopes up too early and maybe expect something more closer to the end of the year of 2021 or maybe even closer to 2022. What other possible consequences could there be behind? Maybe that there's some kind of drama? I wouldn't expect so. Maybe there's some kind of, maybe the relations with Nintendo, who knows? There's, there's always stuff that needs to maybe be uh, fixed behind the scenes. So it's it's definitely, uh, I w my theory is currently that they're just not really ready, that there's stuff at the gameplay, maybe they found some more bugs, and maybe they found some more locations to add maybe some more enemies because you can't have too many enemies with team cherry maybe more some more music even though i think the music is mostly done from what i've read but uh, there could also always be stuff to add and i think that it's just their choice to just put a lot more polish into the game to really bring the expectations up high and just as a slight kind of opinionated piece at the end i just wanted to say if you are actually distraught at team cherry just saying that they need more time Time, then please don't don't pressure them it's just very rude to just go around the community and say okay this game is dead now just because they delayed it a bit or just because they said it's not going to be at e3 the game is not dead they're still working on it they they're going to put a lot of work on it it's probably going to be a fantastic game maybe even the best game that i've ever played but just don't go around and say hey guys this game is fucking dead team cherry have lost us they're, they're going to lose us this game is this game is lame now let's play something else or let's do something else don't do that leave the enjoyment and the patience to other people if you're that impatient and let other people just wait for the game silently or with a bit of hope and don't go around being a negative asshole just ruining the fun for others and putting pressure on these poor developers so guys thanks for watching and i hope this was a small kind of piece maybe you could discuss it a bit more in the comments what's your kind of opinion when do you think the game is going to come out do you have any idea why they might do this weird message stuff why they're just now doing that even though they have never done that before and what kind of stuff are you prepared for to see in the upcoming weeks months or even years for a silk song so thanks for watching and speak soon farewell